It is blockchain coming at you with another Bitcoin technical analysis update. Hopefully everyone is having an amazing Thursday um, and enjoying the market. So uh, for those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Corey, aka Blockchain. I am primarily an Elliott Wave trader. Uh, I do use other indicators and strategies to help with my technical analysis. Um, and um, what I would encourage is actually I do give away my number one trading strategy for free over here on my website, which is in the link below. So go check that out. Uh, get that little get in touch and I'll send you a video demonstration of how to set it up and how to use it, as well as the exclusive Discord with over a thousand active traders, many of them full-time professionals, um, including myself that has my own channel in there. And then the masterclass, which I am giving away completely free this month. This is uh, the last couple days to get your entry. All you have to do is subscribe, like, and comment on my channel and you will get an automatic free entry into the masterclass. So make sure you guys um, do that so you can get there. And then Elliott Wave, which has been my missing link, I'd say, um, overall for uh, trading. Um, if you guys are interested in mastering Elliott Wave, here is a best uh, resource you could possibly do so, in my opinion, um, right here for um, basically $4.97, but basically with everything that's included in it, um, it's you know over a $4,000 value. So make sure you guys go check that out. And then any preferred vendors uh, that I would recommend um, for those of you who are new to the channel. So um, what I do want to do real quick is just catch up on the uh, Discord that I was looking at yesterday, giving posts from active from after the videos. Um, so this was a big one that I was watching. I actually posted this for my position last night. Um, have a nice little entry right here at the point five. Um, and get a nice way to manage the risk, which the stop loss underneath the six one eight. And it was looking for fifty two two hundred to fifty three. 400 um and you know we definitely got there um just in a different way um there's my nice little gains on that it looks like a few other members got some profit in there and then also updated this morning that a sh my short got filled um in that spot at the same time um which i just closed out uh, you know at 50k so a nice little swing trade um and well i guess a little scalp point it, i guess you can say um so let's go ahead and go into the charts and see what we're looking at from uh, yesterday so yesterday i was looking at this to have a five wave move up we did it in a three wave but it's okay we still got there um in regards to getting to the 618 um we found some resistance here at the 382 came back and tested this pivot um and a little fake out for the break of the pivot there and it looks like we are retesting the pivot again here um so we'll see if um if this holds and i believe this is also going to be the 618 as well um, right here at the pivot for this overall move up. Um, and yep, sure is. So um, honestly, would expect a little bit of a bounce here. Some kind of reaction may not be super, super strong. Um, looks like a lot of the indicators are, um, you know, bottoming out a little bit as well. Um, and you can see that we definitely have, um, maybe not quite, is looking for a little bit of bullish divergence on the CV index, but, um, but anyway. So I would expect a little bit of a bounce here and instead of it being a nice five wave move up, we got this, you know, wonky three wave making this whole thing a WXY complex correction. And then this is, um, looks like, you know, a potentially could be a WXY um, with another three wave and five wave down 
to make it a basic WX, Y, X, Z, and then up again. Um, so again, just kind of in correction land at the moment. Um, but you know, just looking for invalidation points, um, and trying to capture a lot of these moves, but nice little sweet entry there, um, from it the position up as well as the uh, position down so um, I'm actually probably gonna go ahead and toss one in right here uh, for a little bit of a scalp at the yeah uh, right there at the pivot so uh, cool perfect all right so let's go ahead and take a quick look at ETH um, ETH just dancing around the pivot um, still is kind of looking at this as an ABC here uh, for basically another you can see you know one two three four five um, move back to the downside um, and really just kind of looking at another uh, really a B and then potentially another C up so let's go ahead and draw that guy let's see that's not the one I want come on there we go uh, basically having this as your a this is the B and then potentially up again here for the C um, you know, potentially look at look, retesting the 1700 since we have just been kind of dancing around this pivot. It hasn't really been, you know, solid support or resistance is, you know, market's a little indecisive right now for ETH. Um, you know, kind of across the board, got a little bit of a pump, but again, we kind of have this, you know, W, um, or an A. And then this, what I'd be looking for is with a five wave move down. If it starts with five, it's got to end with five. So I'd be looking for another clean five wave move down. I wouldn't exactly consider, I mean, it's possible that we could be having this as an ABC here, um, but I don't like the move. Um, it's, it's, it's too short to the downside in my opinion. So normally we need to have an equal leg. Um, so I think we'll get another little bounce here and then have another uh, move to the downside and, um, you know, do something like this here. So um, we'll check out the pivots and see, but I'm looking for a little bit of a bounce here as a lot of these um, are in the oversold territory on the 15 minute. Um, and let's take a quick look at dot. Um, let's see. Yeah, dot kind of the same thing. Um, not really seeing this as a five wave move, kind of again, an A, B, and then a C here. Uh, but also looking at this as a one, two, three, four, five. Uh, we did break the pivot, but I will be looking for a strong reaction here shortly. If not, then we'll get uh, look for continuation to the downside. Um, but yeah, still kind of the same thing for basically an A, and then have this as a or A, and then another B up and a C down, um, and you know basically do something like this here. Um, so really kind of just looking for correction land um, and just really kind of in scalps in between a lot of these. And then once we once this fills out a little bit, we can pull some pivots, but looking for something like this. Um, and, you know, once we get the once we see the connector five wave move down for him, then we can start to look for, you know, potentially another long position um, to get back up for a nice little swing. But it still looks very three wave um, correction to me. Not super, super bullish, just kind of uh, bouncing around uh, sushi. Um, let's see. Yeah, this is pretty interesting to see sushi take off. Um, let's see what we got here. So we can potentially be in the expanded B pocket. Um, I don't see this as impulsive um, as it does break some Elliott wave rules. So I'd count this as a zigzag formation, basically an A, B, and then a C. Um, and I uh, might have a little bit of a topping formation here and then have connection to the downside. Um, but we, hmm, uh, that's, that's pretty, it's interesting to see a sushi take off like that um, when the rest of the markets haven't, I guess the rest of the coins haven't exactly been moving to that extent. Um, but again, started with a five wave move down. Um, so it does need to end with a five wave, but this can still be an ex the expanded B pocket. Um, if it is, and we have 
you know, our top information normally will have an ex extended C wave at the same time. So it can potentially come back down and look to double um, retest. But again, same thing, be looking for a little bit of a bounce here um, for potentially a, a wave two. So this could be the start of wave one, have a bounce up for wave two, and then have, you know, our three, four, and our five come back down. So would be looking for, again, a little bit of a bounce, um, but again, kind of just correction land um, at the moment. Um, and then we'll take a quick look at Dash. Yeah, Dash, same thing, ABC. Um, this one has a cleaner five wave move up the most, but definitely it kicked off with a three wave here. Um, and yeah, one, two, three, four, five, five wave move to the downside. Uh, really for this is A, B, then C down. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, just it's a, it's all corrective at the moment. So um, not seeing anything super, super strong to get into. Um, but I would still be looking for something like this here. But again, if it starts with five and needs to end with five, um, and I'm not seeing any of these connections move in a five wave fashion um, but would really again kind of ABC here in the middle and right here would be our A, B and then C with where we're at roughly at the moment um, so something like that and then overall this would be an A, B and then a C right here for the B wave so it's kind of inception <laughs> waves within waves, you know, something like that. So we have this three wave move up and we'd also be looking again, roughly a one to one connection to this move up here. So I think we'll still, you know, have some upside to go. Um, we're just, you know, kind of filling out this B wave here. Um, but ultimately, you know, if we do get our one to one connection on a lot of these, then we would have continuation to the downside as I am seeing this is a five wave move down so we could potentially be going up into a wave two uh, potentially a wave three or a wave two or overall a B wave for a zigzag move to the downside uh, more than likely I'd like to see us come up and retest um, you know a couple of these areas here on dash um, you know so roughly 290 um, and you know, 271, somewhere within there. Um, and then once this fills out here and we start our impulse up for a C wave, then we can, you know, match it up with a little bit more specifics for FIB levels. So um, let's see, I think that covers it. Just wanted to do a quick update. Um, of course, we'll take a look at Doge, the, the people's money here. Um, Doge, I did see kick off with a five wave move. Um, and then we have a uh, nice little ABC here. Um, but seeing that right here, it did kick off impulsively. Um, I would again look for a connector, you know, five wave move to the upside as in potential wave one, two, and going up from there. Um, let's go ahead and pull a retracement on these guys. Let's move these so I can get the. Tops and the bottoms. All right, so yeah, I can see we're right here at the 382. So we might uh, would look for a little bit of a reaction here, um, but nice little one, two, three, four, five for a third wave, and a nice little kick up for a fifth. So nice five wave move to the upside, um, sitting right at the 382 uh, for a potential. Um, for a potential bounce. Um, so really could have our A, B, and then this, this would be our little C down and look for continuation on up to the upside. So we'll see what we get. It's kind of dancing around these levels for uh, some support across the board for the most part. So we'll see what kind of reaction we get, especially with a lot of the indicators, especially on the 15 minute, um, you know, just being in the over uh, in the oversold territory. So would expect a little bit of a reaction um, to the upside and we'll see if we get continuation as we go through I know overall across the US a lot of the markets are down um, which could be you know pushing a lot of the crypto spaces down a little bit as well as that do somewhat correlate um, whenever they have their upwards and downwards days so we'll see if they kind of we'll see what the markets turn into it's still early in the day and uh, yeah that's all I got guys hopefully I'll see you guys in the discord enjoy your Thursday I'll catch you tomorrow for another Bitcoin technical analysis update.